Welcome football enthusiasts! Subscribe, give us a like, and write in the comments below would you like to see Leo Messi return to Barcelona? And while you're typing, we proceed to start. Let's get the show on the pitch! Harry Kane scored his 266th goal for Tottenham Hotspur. Now he shares first place with Jimmy Graves in the list of the club's all-time top scorers. Lazio head coach Maurizio Sarri could become Antonio Conte's successor at Tottenham. Arsenal and Borussia Dortmund intend to sign Real Valladolid defender Ivan Fresneda. Modric wants to show what he's capable of, along with the other players that we've got. Mason Mount noted. Jose Mourinho wants to sign Hakim Ziyech in order to replace Nicola Zaniolo. Nicola Schiura reports. Guys, we have a great gift just for you. The One Football app is the most convenient thing we have ever used. It has everything a true football fan needs. All the latest news about clubs and players, broadcasts and match reviews, a calendar and a very user-friendly interface. And most importantly, all these features are absolutely free. All you have to do is click on the notification so you won't miss any important event from the life of your favorite team. You can download OneFootball for free from the link in the video description or from QR code you see on the screen right now. Use it wisely. Everton have officially confirmed the termination of cooperation with the team's manager, Frank Lampert. Give one more year to Den Haag and back him in the market. If he gets it right at United, they will play more attractive football than they played under Sir Alex Ferguson. Thierry Henry stated, Southampton have announced the early recall of centre-back Jan Bednarek from his loan spell at Aston Villa. Chelsea have agreed personal terms with Leon right-back Malo Gusto. Fabrizio Romano notifies. After football, I want to go into acting. Jesse Lingard revealed. Arsenal have completed the transfer of Spezia left-back Jakub Kivier. The agreement will be running until the summer of 2028. Wayne Rooney was offered to take over Everton Jap. The candidates of Sean Deitch and Brentford boss Thomas Frank are also under consideration. Former Barcelona defender Gerard Pique has been spotted with his new girlfriend Julia Puch, a lawyer from Barcelona. Manchester City have announced that defensive midfielder Maximo Perrone has joined the club from Vela Sarsfield. The contract with the 20-year-old Argentine is valid for five and a half years. According to Transfer Markt, the deal amounted to 11 million euros. Atletico Madrid have announced the extension of the contract with central midfielder Pablo Barrios. The Netherlands Football Federation has officially announced the appointment of Ronald Koeman as the head coach of the national team. Sadio Mane is most likely to miss the Champions League first leg against PSG. The 30-year-old Senegalese continues to recover from an injury he suffered before the 2022 World Cup. Anthony is a tricky winger, but tricky wingers, you want them to still be able to beat the defender, Rio Ferdinand shared his opinion. I want to renew my contract with Milan. With the Scudetto victory, I entered the hearts of the Milan fans. I'm talking to the club about a renewal. If there is the possibility of finishing my career at a high level in Milan, I will do it," Olivier Giroud claimed. Portuguese manager Fernando Santos will become the new coach of the Polish national team. First game, first win. Well done, guys. Thanks to all the fans for incredible support. Cristiano Ronaldo wrote on social media platforms after his debut appearance for Al Nasser. Finishing from 2nd 3rd to 10th place is psychologically tough. Juventus boss Massimiliano Allegri admitted. Shakhtar Donetsk and Brighton are negotiating the transfer of Mikhail Matvienko, with the Derby personally insisting on the move. Tottenham Hotspur marksman Harry Kane is reportedly still open to signing a new contract, the Athletic understands. Boca Juniors goalkeeper Agustin Rossi will join Al Nasser on loan, journalist Rudy Galati reported. Atalanta goalkeeper Pierluigi Golini will undergo a medical checkup at Napoli within two days, journalist Nicola Schiera notified. Bayern have no plans to make a move for Chelsea forward Kai Havertz, according to Sport1 reporter Kerry Howell. I want everyone to respect Vinicius a little more, Carlo Ancelotti stated. Barcelona have only one conceded goal at Camp Nou this season in La Liga. I had goosebumps. The reception was incredible and unforgettable. Sebastian Lerner commented on his return to the pitch. 
Olympic Marseille and Elas Verona are closing in on deal to sign midfielder Ivan Illich. The amount of the transfer is worth around 15 million euros, plus 2 to 3 million in add-ons. Tottenham Hotspur have opened talks with Maurizio Pochettino regarding the Argentines return to the club. Only Nigerians Victor Osman and Ademala Lukman have backed 10 plus goals in the ongoing Serie A campaign. Club Berg striker Ferran Hundla is set to leave for Lazio in the coming days. The expected fee will be around 15 million euros, with Barcelona set to receive 1.5 million from the deal as they keep 10% of any future sale. I am told that Man United, even before his injury, wanted to protect Donny van de Beek and to continue with Donny also for the second part of the season. Fabrizio Roman is set to give me sport. And now have a look at the results of the previous day you see on your screens. Moving on to the main news of the release. Let's have a brief rewind of yesterday's fixtures. Tottenham barely beat Fulham 0-1. Harry Kane once again came to rescue with a winning goal. Inter Milan sensationally lost to Empoli 0-1. The most memorable clash of the day was PSG's one-sided victory in Coupe de France round of 32 over Pay de Cassel 0-7. Mbappe slotted a hat-trick, while Neymar and Soder also succeeded in a goal each. All right, back to other events of the day. Al Nasser are expecting that the team's striker Cristiano Ronaldo will retire in Saudi Arabia. The Portuguese deal with Knights of Night expires in the summer of 2025. At that time, Ronaldo will be 40 years old. So the management of Al Nasser is convinced that the footballer is unlikely to hang up his boots in another league. The Saudi side does not exclude the possibility of extending cooperation with CR7 if he wants to pursue his playing career. Besides, Al Nasser is plotting to use the experience of the five-time Belinder winner to popularize football in Saudi Arabia and throughout Asia. Journalist Gerard Romero claimed that Lionel Messi has no intention to prolong his agreement with PSG. Argentina's victory at the 2022 World Cup forced the 35-year-old footballer to change his mind. Earlier on, the Argentine was reportedly edging closer to renewing the contract with the Red and Blues until 2024, with the one-year extension option until 2025. La Pulga's current deal lasts until the end of the season, though the Parisians still can extend it for one more year. There are currently three key reasons why Lionel Messi wishes to part ways with PSG. According to journalist Sergio Gonzalez, the Argentine is not satisfied with three things going on with the club bad relations with the club's fans, Mbappe's special role with the club, Messi's tiredness of the constant noise that has accompanied his career path in Paris. We would like to add one more reason to the list. After taking the World Cup trophy, PSG management decided not to celebrate Lee Messi's triumph at the Parc des Princes, seeing the event as too provocative. Barcelona want to seize the opportunity to bring Lionel Messi back to Blaugrana camp next summer. Gerard Romero notifies, Messi will become a free agent, and therefore Barca could sign him on a free transfer. It only remains to agree on the salary. If it's even 1% possible, FC Barcelona will try everything possible to bring back Leo Messi, Gerard Romero claimed. Leo Messi is not interested in joining a club for money. He wants to enjoy football at the top level and be happy. Another journalist, Sergio Gonzalez, informed. Lionel Messi is considering a possible return to Barcelona. The matter is reported by journalist Gaston Edul. Relations between Messi's camp and Joan Laporta aren't great. Leo loves the club, but that's not the same as the board. The two parties didn't end their relationship in a good manner, the journalist said. Moreover, Gerard Romero adds that Laporta has already contacted Messi's entourage over the Argentines' comeback. Leo Messi's situation has not changed, Fabrizio Romano informed. A new meeting will take place soon with Paris Saint Germain to discuss the length of the new contract and then get it signed. Leo plans to continue in Paris. A verbal pact was discussed in December. Folks, check out the suggested videos from our other projects. Have a good time watching and see you soon!